Hi, Steve Gamash with a Chef Knives to Go quick look product review, and this time we are looking at the Sukunati ZDP 189 Karetsuke 240mm knife. Uh, these knives do come with a custom Saya already uh, in the box, friction fit. So there's that. Here's the knife, and uh, these knives have a uh, core steel of ZDP 189 powdered metallurgy stainless. This is one of the high end super steels, and it's taken to a very high uh, hardness rating by, by Sukunari at 65 to 66 Rockwell. And this, the construction is a multi-layered stainless cladding over the top of that ZDP 189, and they've done some etching on it, and you've got a very deep, even tactile feeling, Damascus-style cladding look out of that, and it's, it's mirror polished as well. We'll get a close-up look at it. The uh, weight on the knife is quite light, 125 grams, 4.4 ounces. The blade length's around 232 on the edge, and the overall length's right around 15 inches. The blades are pretty thin. The spine thickness up here at the chin or heel area is about 2.3 millimeters, roughly. You can see that right there. And the um, that pretty much holds that same thickness, maybe just a slight taper as you get on the blade until you hit the... Uh, reverse katana or sword type grind on it and then it gets very thin towards the tip. The blade height on this is around 41 millimeter back here at the heel. The um, handle type, uh, it's not a super special handle, it's a octagonal U uh, buffalo horn ferrule handle kind of like they're putting on the Moritakas these days and the handle circumference is right around three inches. On this knife the blade is the definite star so let's take a closer look at that blade. It's quite shiny and mirror polished, but you've got a really uh, pretty look to the blade. You've got a very, uh, like I said, a, a deep etching on the layers, on the cladding, and you can feel it when you run your fingers over there. So it's definitely one of the more unique ones. It's got embossed kanji on it and also ZDP there, so you know the steel of the blade. So beautifully crafted blade. Uh, the craftsmanship is absolutely top notch. You've got rounded spine, uh, beautifully relieved uh, choil emolto and uh, choil. This particular one has some of the maki showing behind the neck of the knife, and that's a traditional Japanese install. That is not something, in my opinion, that should be messed with. It's They do that so you can tap the handle on. If it becomes a little bit loose, it's a tr traditional look, which I think is nice. Plus, you get a little bit extra space there for your finger to fit in there on a pinch grip. Uh, as I said, fit and finish is just beautiful on this blade. Very sharp out of the box. Let's take a look at the profile. <clears throat> and we'll bring our cutting board in here. So here's our edge profile on this Kiritsuke. And you can see it's fairly flat overall with just a touch of belly to it. Let's put it on the board. So it's got a smooth roll into a, kind of a, a gentle stop at the heel. There's not really a true back belly per se on this. It just kind of rolls into a very gentle stop on the heel. And so you've got a kind of a gentle, extra, extra flat, kind of, I should say, slight belly towards the heel, but not much. And then a gentle curve towards the front. You can rock this. Uh, up in here before I start digging the tip in. It just It's really, part of what you pay on a knife like this is it's a beautifully done profile with no bumps or hiccups in it at all. It's just smooth as glass all the way down. That's part of what you pay for is the attention, extreme attention to detail here on the crafting of this knife. So, there you've got your profile for that. Balance point. The handle's fairly light, which balances out the blade. Just about perfectly on my pinch grip. Pinch grip's about right there. So the balance point is almost right on the money. This has a real nimble feel to it. Um, it's actually fairly stiff for how thin the blade is. And the tip is quite thin as well. So this should be a real high performer. It's this gorgeous knife. So there you have a really spectacular piece of craftsmanship that looks wonderful as well. The Sukunardi ZDP 189 Karitsuke 240mm knife.